Hello and welcome to another Emotion Design Quick Tip video. Today I'm going to show you how to add a border in a picture in Photoshop. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you one of my favorites and that is using the rectangle tool. So first of all, find the rectangle tool and just to note I'm using CS5. You can use older versions as well, however. Uh, we're just going to draw a rectangle where we want the border to be around my grandparents here. Uh, no, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm actually going to purposefully draw this one not uh, perfectly symmetrical around them. You'll, you'll notice right away that it added a shape layer over in your layers palette uh, and that there's this big ugly colored space over it. Now we want to knock out this color and we can do that by with the layer selected, blue like that, go up and find where it says fill and 100% and note that there's also an opacity 100%. Now the fill is just going to affect uh, the contents of the layer. Opacity, if we use this one, would knock out uh, the layer styles as well, which we're going to use. So we just want to use the fill one. It's an important thing to note though. So pull that down all the way to zero, and now we've made the color transparent, and we can see my grandparents there. Uh, it's all great and dandy. However, when we click off the layer, we notice that we actually don't have a border at all. Uh, it's just back to the picture. So go, with the layer selected, the shape layer, I want you to double click right to the left of, or right of the uh, name of the layer, shape one there in this case. And this brings up the layer styles. Uh, and down at the very bottom of this list is one named stroke. That is gonna allow us to add the border by checking that box. Now by actually, clicking on the name, we highlight it blue, and now we get options over here that we can edit to affect the stroke. You'll see we can affect the size. We can go really big if we want, or really small so you can barely see it. Uh, you can p uh, change the position, and the position is actually one that I usually do change, because as you notice, as a, at a larger size especially, you can see how it rounds the corners out, and I, I like kind of square corners in a, for most of this kind of thing. So I'm going to change this from outside to inside. And what it's going to do is it moves instead of making that border on the outside of the shape we made, puts it on the inside, making a nice crisp corner. Now we can also affect the opacity, the transparency, so make it semi-transparent. We can also change the color. If we don't like uh, the color that we had initially, we can pick uh, one of the colors from the photo or any color from the wheel here. So. Um, I'm going to just go with a nice color from the photo there. And I'm going to make this uh, frame just slightly smaller, I think, so it doesn't overpower the image. And I'm going to click OK. Well, there you find and dandy. We've got this nice frame made. But now, oh wait, I want this to actually go uh, so there's equal space on all the sides. Well, the great thing about doing, using a shape layer is if you scale a shape layer, it's not going to scale... Uh, the effects, the uh, layer styles that we set up, including that border style. Whereas if we had actually drawn a, you know, pixels out there, and we try to scale it, it would distort the pixels. But it's going to keep the same number of pixels, same width, regardless of how we scale it. So I hit Control T here to scale it, or resize it, and I can grab these handles and I can go inside. I can go all the way down. And you notice it's keeping the width this exact same proportion that border. So you don't have to worry about having any issues there. Uh, very handy to resize. Pull that down. And so we get a nice frame around my grandparents. Now I'm going to show you how to do one more thing. That's pretty cool, but I'm going to show you how to do one more thing as well. And that is what it, we can add a little dimension by hiding the uh, part of this border. Uh, make it look like the border is actually going behind them. and then So they're actually popping out. Uh, over the that. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take the shape layer that our border is basically our border now, and we're going to put that into a folder. So we're going to click to create a new folder, then we're going to click on the layer, the shape layer, and click and drag it up to that folder. Now you see it's indented. If I click on that, it hides it all together. So now that's in this folder. Now by having it in this folder, what we can do is we can actually add a mask to the folder, which is right down here. So with the folder selected blue, Click the uh, mask button that adds this 
new layer, uh, and you see it's all white. White means it's revealing everything. But now if we uh, paint any black on it, it'll hide what's in the contents of this layer. And we'd like to hide the bottom part of this border. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my paintbrush. And I have the color black selected in the palette here. And with that mask layer selected, I'm just going to paint over the area that I don't want to show up. And it's going to make it disappear just like that. And now we've created the, uh, the illusion that that border is actually going behind them. And you can zoom in and you can fine tune that if you'd like to kind of clean up the edge a little bit. But now it really has a nice dimension that they're really popping out from that border. And as an added bonus, we can go back into our shape layer. Go back, click on stroke again, and say we didn't like the size of that. Oh, let's make it a little bit thinner. That's a little overpowering. There we go. We just resized it. And maybe I don't like that green after all. Maybe at that smaller size, I'd rather have this red. So we're just going to change it that easily. And there we go. And there we've added a border to a picture in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.